Good man, welcome back to another video, man. It is your boy Mouse, you already know what time it is. And man, we are actually in full effect doing some car audio installs. Let me show you what I got going on. You are definitely gonna wanna, you know, stay tuned, watch the videos, and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel because, uh, man, we are building a box and a full system in a Chevy Tahoe with uh, two 12-inch JLW6s. We're gonna do a ported box for that. Real nice box. We're gonna build ears, figure this is the box. We're gonna build ears off of it, a nice little panel and put a Neo PRV 10 and a horn on it as well. So that's the Tahoe install. Then we just sealed the deal on this uh, build right here that we are gonna do. So we're actually gonna put three 10 inch Tempano mids on the doors along with two of these Tempano uh, horn tweeters and then two of the Tempano bigger horns. Um, this lens is just for mock-up, but he has other lenses that he's gonna put on it that's gonna be Tempano. And these door panels are gonna be raw, guys. So definitely stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel to watch all these builds because they will be up, man. We're back to everyday videos in doing these builds, man. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Guys, for not dropping videos back to back like I was doing. Um, man, we just had a lot of stuff uh, to catch up after Christmas. Uh, I had to attend some stuff to the other house. We had to get that done. But I'm pretty much caught up with everything. So we're back in full effect with this YouTube stuff, man. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are back. For the sub box, I actually designed the box one way. But then my friend called me and told me that he wanted to add tens on the side of the box. Um, but he didn't want to do nothing too crazy. So I just had to rearrange the box and the design of it. So we can be able to add the tens and the horns on the side of it. But you guys will see all that as we build the box. Um, sadly... Silverado would be ideal to go get wood, but I just took everything out the trunk of the slider, the Malibu, because we're about to go pick up wood right now. It's ideal for the truck to go, man, but it is we do what we gotta do to get these jobs done, and the Malibu's gonna have to do, man, so. They get everything situated, and I'll catch you right now when we get to Home Depot. We'll be in Home Depot in five, four, three, two, one. Just like that, we are at Home Depot, man. Let's get this wood. Guest today, what's up? Say what's up to YouTube. Bye -bye. Hey, look, say what's up to YouTube. What's up to YouTube? Oh, you camera shy, man. So we're going to go inside here to the Home Depot in the lumber section. Get this wood for my boy. We're going to get it pre-cut so we can come home and just cut to the size that we need. And we can start building this box. I might stop at Walmart and buy a few things that I need for these door panels, man. You know, Walmart, um, man, we always pick up some materials that we need there to build some door panels. Um, and I'm going to show you what I get, man. So let's keep on grinding. Let's get this wood. Let's talk about some wood real quick before we actually get the wood. I think we have the MDF, that's 5798 a sheet. That's always some good car audio go-to wood. Um, particle board, man, that's old school, man. 28 bucks, but this is, um, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think I grew out the stage using this when I was probably like 15. Nowadays, everybody's using the birch. Um, look, sandy plywood, $69, a three quarter sheet. The oak plywood, 89. This is what I actually built my subwoofer box out of. There's the other birch, 89 dollars, and then polar hardwood, 72 bucks. So pretty much all those woods right there would be good to build a box. Um, like I said, I actually have this one in my Silverado build for my 412s, and that thing is solid, guys. That thing is kind of falling apart. I do a lot of the boxes in the MDF. I don't see nothing wrong with doing MDF, man. It's really good. It's badass. Um, one thing I will say, whenever I was routering it on the my other plywood like this one this style um the ja edges get jagged versus on the mdf it stays nice and smooth but you can send them out and you know big deal but my boy base with kev man follow him on his youtube channel i'll leave the the link right here for you guys or his channel name right here he actually you recommend to use some of this uh um pine it's I'm saying it's nice and thick. I like it. So we, we probably will end up doing something like this. But we'll see right now. I'm going to take a look at the okay, other Okay, so one. I just wanted to make sure what was the actual size of it. So I went to go get a tape measure. And it's pretty much three quarter inch thick. Um, because I go over here to this side. And go where this other plywood's at. And it is pretty much the same. We're just going to go experiment with this piece of wood. It looks like it's going to be durable. It looks solid, guys. Um, and for the price, you can't go wrong. $49 for a 4x8 sheet, 3 quarter inch thick. Man, that thing's going to be nasty. Um, 
you know, and it's good to go ahead and try out new stuff. Um, and it's only 212, so it shouldn't be that bad. And so we're just gonna go ahead and give this guy a shot and see what it does. But remember, even though it's a 212 box, man, we are gonna brace this thing like there's no tomorrow. wood now we're gonna go get this thing cut down to the sizes that we need and be on our way we do need to get some wood glue as well too so can't forget that when i build my boxes i like to use the wood glue and the staple gun man it goes a lot faster and you know you seal everything up and we will be sealing her up with liquid nails as well too so all the base and air just comes up through the port and the subs easier on us so we can go home and just cut the sizes that we need. So next on the list, let's go get some wood glue. Alright, this is the glue I like to use, a tight bond original wood glue. Man, this gets the job done, guys. There ain't nothing else better than this. I mean, they can make the other ones, but I mean wood glue. This one's good. So we got everything. Wood, glue, I'll just go cash out. This quarter box is gonna jam. You know what I'm saying? They're on that 3,000 watts on 212s, man, that thing's gonna be. A few moments later. Now we have to try to fit all that wood inside here. Maybe long wise, let's we'll see what it do. I think, it, you know, we can never let a few pieces of wood defeat us. That's what I came up with, guys. Look, it's gonna work. Bam. That was easy. So now let's put this part back. All right, now we're at Walmart, man. We got to get a few things. Get some fiberglass mat, uh, maybe some fleece, and some hot glue sticks just to get that out the way. This is what we need right here so we can make the mold of the door panel, man. I always use these. These work really badass. So I think we're going to probably get probably like four of them. Let's see how many come in that box. Oh, I think we'll just take the other box and we're going to it. We need it because we need to make the mold of it and it's real nice and strong. And then once after we get done making the mold and we fiberglass uh, the fleece when we get the shape of it, we're gonna need to mat it as well too to make that door panel solid. Um, I think I probably got like two packs at the house. So these four, man, they'll get the fiberglass resin and all that stuff. We get it from my pops from the his job because there they have like the really badass fiberglass resin and the hardener, man. I remember the one of the, when I was building my door panels, the very first ones, um the walmart hardener i mean it was doing its job but it's, it doesn't do the job like my dad's hardener because he actually adds a booster on it and gets that thing like really solid so um we learned our lesson with that one so we're just going to stick to using the material that my dad gets us um for the fiberglass stuff and so but they got it all here at walmart um you can just go ahead and you know use all the stuff that you want and it works guys it works you just have to be patient with it and now he wants to go to the toy section so let's go get him some toys but man fiberglass stuff I highly recommend it from Walmart, man. Use it. Man. Look, we're in the toy section now. This guy's been bugging me over this Finance at Freddy toy. Yeah, Let's see Friday. if they got it. He's going to be so mad if they don't have it. Ooh, I don't even think they got it, man. Oh, man. Find the, the Bonnie and the Finance at Freddy guys, so we got the poppies. Look, where's, show them Huggy Wuggy. My name is Huggy Wuggy. Okay, we got this. Okay, so That's for my sister. Yep. Okay, so now let's go see if we can find some hot glue sticks and some fleece. Get some glue sticks. Really good, man. These things are bomb. That stuff will never fall out. And we got the Gorilla um, glue gun at the crib, man. These Gorilla glue sticks will work good on the fiberglass. A few moments later. Made it back home. We got the wood here. Check it out. Wood's still in the back of the car. So, I didn't get the fleece because there was nobody in the fabric department and they were actually taking too long. So, I just dipped on them so I can go back and get it. So we got our wood glue, some glue sticks for when we start doing the rings on fiberglass door pots, um, fiberglass mat because we need to make the molds on the door panels, man. And obviously that wood that we got right there is to build a box for 212 JLW6s, man. This thing's gonna bang, I can't wait to hear this. 
and on this build as well too like i said we're doing a, a prv slim pro tweeter on each door as well as a six inch or six and a half inch um, prv mid on each door as well too and then once we get towards the back it's going to get a 10 and a horn um, 3k terra amps on this guy uh, we're going to do a planet audio on the mids and highs for right now but then he's actually going to upgrade and get a p not a prv but a terra amps uh, four channel for the mids and highs and then we're going to do a prv crossover probably like in the next two weeks but this week we're just going to get the system done and just get it playing for him just so he can enjoy it but then you know we'll come back and add the details on it but we are doing the clarion eq just so he can have control everything a little bit better the panels are going to be fire because like i said it's three tens uh, two of those horns right there and one of those drivers as well there too So this thing is gonna be loud and it's gonna look really good. Uh, man, so much going on at one door Man, but we can get it done here at the mousetrap gang channel if This is your first time on my channel man Don't forget to hit that subscribe button man and already if you are on this channel man Definitely hit the like for your boy man You know I like to do at least a hundred likes or better from now on But definitely hit that like man subscribe because man the builds are gonna start coming uh, trailblazer build is gonna get started but we need to make some money so we can fund the trailblazer build and then we can get everybody jamming along the way too man so subscribe to the channel hit that like man we're gonna get back on it tomorrow and get to building this box first man so i'll catch you guys on the next one